president of India has just made a whole host of appointments and changes to the governors of various states. Sanket Upadhyay joins us with uh, all of the important announcements. Sanket, what more can you tell us? Well, yes, lots of changes that have in fact taken place, uh, which is being seen as a precursor to a, 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 a possible cabinet reshuffle. From what we can hear is that Mr. Uh, Sridharan Pillai uh, has been transferred and appointed as the governor of Goa. He was the governor of Mizoram. Uh, Satyadev Narayan Arya was the governor of Haryana, transferred as the governor of Tripura. Uh, Ramesh Bayes, who was in fact uh, the governor of Tripura, has been made the uh, governor of Jharkhand. Thawarchand Gehlot has been made the governor of Karnataka. If you recall, Thawarchand Gehlot, uh, uh, Gehlot uh, is in fact the leader of the party in the Rajya Sabha uh, of the Bharti Janta Party. Yes. Pandaru Dattatreya is the former, the, the governor of Himachal Pradesh has been transferred as the governor of Haryana. Hari Babu uh, Khambampati uh, is, has in fact been made the governor of Mizoram. Mangubai uh, Chagan Bhai Patel, uh, the new governor of Madhya Pradesh. And Rajin Vishwanath Arlekar uh, is the governor of Himachal Pradesh. So uh, these are important changes. Now it is also expected that this could, in fact, be a precursor to uh, more changes. Now, of course, these, these are constitutional changes that have been taken and mandated by the president. Now it will be interesting to see uh, when the changes to the Council of Ministers take place, which is going to be announced by the government. All right, so this, of course, is uh, the big breaking story, Sanket. They're listing out all of the changes that have been made. Sanket, there are eight changes that have been made uh, as appointments to governors of various states. This, of course, like you've been saying, is a precursor uh, to the cabinet reshuffle. And even though that important meeting uh, uh, that Prime Minister was scheduled to have with the BJP president and ministers later this evening stands cancelled, uh, you have, in fact, been reporting that a cabinet reshuffle uh, could happen as early as tomorrow. Well, yes, the cabinet reshuffle can happen as early as tomorrow. Yes, you are right that there was supposed to be a meeting that was scheduled uh, to take place uh, this evening uh, to perhaps finalize the, you know, the, the final list. Also, take a look at the final assessment that needs to be carried out. However, that meeting has uh, uh, either been delayed, postponed, or uh, cancelled. What we are hearing at this moment is that that meeting is not happening as of this moment. Uh, but uh, one thing is very clear that many leaders, from what we are hearing, are now already on their way uh, to the national capital. For instance, Jyoti Rajya Sindhya, we are hearing, is going to leave for Delhi at 3. Uh, Sarvananda Sonowal is going to reach Delhi at 3. So, uh, lots of, uh, lots of uh, such uh, cases where we are hearing from various states of many leaders now rushing into Delhi. So, while the appointment of governors has been made, so there is no direct relation between the two, uh, between the Council of Ministers as well as the Governor, but it's definitely being seen as a precursor to this, uh, to this imminent big reshuffle. Well, thanks, Ankit, for joining us so, with all of those uh, important uh, pieces of information. One, of course, is that the President of India has made appointments and changes uh, to uh, the governors. And this, of course, has affected eight states currently. We're going to continue to keep a close watch on those developments. And like Sanket is saying, this is a precursor to the cabinet reshuffle that could, in fact, happen as early as tomorrow.